Hello friends and welcome to A Shot of Code. Today we're going to be looking at upgrading to the latest version of Lit Element, uh, which at the time of this recording is 0.6.0. Um, now it's going to be quite a quick one, uh, but if you've not seen Lit Element before, uh, worth checking out this video here because I'm going to jump straight into a pre-built uh, component. So let's jump in. Right, so I've got Visual Studio Code open and as I say, a little um, app that is literally just displaying uh, some text at the top here. It's got a button that if we click, we get um, some output into the console. See if I can get that down to the bottom. Uh, so yeah, as we click the button, we get clicked down here and we've got a binding to a counter there. So just looking in our code, um, just got a simple index page that has our component, my app, and then in main.js, we create a lit element component and we've got a property count. And then here is our visual um, element with the title and our click handler and our property. Um, okay, so this one is in version 0.5 uh, and there's a few, few little changes that I just wanna go over for 0.6. So what I'll do is I'll take all of this code and we'll go into another one here where I've actually got 0.6 installed. So if I just grab the index and the, uh, the JS file as well and give that a save. Now let's get rid of version five and then we'll put this over here. And if I do Polymer serve now, we should see some errors. Where are we on? 8081, so give it a refresh. Okay, so the first error we've got is that render is not implemented. So if we look in our main JS, uh, currently in version 0.5, we need underscore render, but now this has just changed to a render. So we can simply fix that one there. And if I give it a refresh again now, Okay, now cannot read property counts of undefined. So we no longer need to pass in a props or the individual property names. We can just delete that um, and place this in front of our property. So if I give that a save again, that error should go. Okay, and our UI is coming up. So our count here is binding correctly to our property with this new syntax and we've got the new render name. Um, for our override of that function. What about the on click handler? If I do a click me here, I'm not getting anything at the moment. To actually define um, a handler now, we need to specify at and click. So I give that one a save and refresh again and then click. We can see that handler is now working as well. So um, three little changes there. The name of the method, um, the way we access properties within there and the at click handler as well. Um, let's do one of the other little changes I'm aware of is if we want to bind to a class. Um, previously, we would have said class dollar equals and then give it a name, um, say blue. And if I define that, so we'd have a style and say blue say background color blue background color blue so if I save that one off and okay so it's not working um, because that is the old syntax so we no longer need to specify for attributes, we no longer need to specify um, the dollar. In fact, I should be interpolating this here. So let's say, um, say I was trying to get um, this dot blue and we had another property in here, blue. Like so. Okay, so we've got property blue and we just need to set it to this dot blue equals 
blue. And we should now see. Okay, so we get an error, which is kind of what we're expecting. Um, class dollar is not a valid attribute. So now in 0.6, we don't want that dollar there on attributes. So if I save that one off, give it a refresh, we've got our blue background coming through there. Um, and conversely, on um, on property binding, say I wanted to bind to a property of another element. Um, say I had uh, another element here. Then rather than just putting the property name, we now need to do dot and property, and then we can bind in there um, like so. Um, so a little bit of a little bit of a switch there. Previously for properties, we didn't have to um, make any changes, but now you've got a dot in front. And for attributes like class, we can just simply use the attribute name. Um, so there you go, a few little changes in the latest version of Lit Element at 0.6. I uh, hope that was useful. Thanks very much for watching and see you next time. Bye.